بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم مزمبل یعقوب لیکچر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ یو آر انسٹرکٹر فار دس کورس وچ از مٹیریلز اینڈ میتھڈز آف کنسٹرکشن سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ سم فزیکل پراپرٹیز آف سیمنٹ ان ڈیٹیل دین ان سیکنڈ پارٹ آف آر لیکچر we are going to discuss about classifications of different type of cements and uh, in the last part is about storage of cement right so let's start so basically uh, physical properties of a good cement are based on six things right so which are uh, written over here as you can see the first one is fineness second one is consistency third one is soundness fourth is a uh, setting time fifth is compressive strength and the last two hours density and specific gravity so let's move to our next slide so let's discuss first one which is fineness fineness means uh, 95% of cement particles are smaller than 45 micrometer with average particle around uh, 15 micrometer in other words uh, you can say fineness of cement affect the uh, rate of hydration right so more more the fineness of cement more will be the hydration or rate of the hydration so fineness accelerate the strength development during the first 7 days so to check the fineness fineness test is performed and uh, the apparatus is used called sieves right so to measure the size of particle of cement and uh, in the coming slide we will discuss about consistency test right for which the wicket apparatus is used so the picture of this apparatus can see over here so consistency uh, means relative mobility of a fresh mix cement paste or mortar or its ability to flow right so in short words you can say the ability to flow is known as consistency right and uh, with the help of uh, wicket's apparatus the consistency of a uh, cement is measured now third so the third one is soundness soundness means the ability of hardened paste to retain its volume after setting time it's known as uh, soundness of cement right or a cement is said to be unsound having lack of soundness if it is subjected to destructive expansion right and uh, the test which are used to check the soundness of a cement is uh, known as lee catherall accelerated test and uh, the second one is basically there are two type of test right so the second one is called autoclave expansion test right so over here you can see the lee catherall apparatus which is used to measure the soundness of a cement and uh, next one is setting time right so for second setting time the apparatus which is used is called wicket apparatus over here in this picture you can see wicket apparatus so basically a uh, setting time is setting time means describe the stiffening of a cement paste setting time is to determine if a cement sets according to the setting limits specified in ASTM C150 which is uh, which says that uh, normally cement must take 1 hour or 45 minute right 
to set its initial setting time right so for determining uh, the setting time of summit wicket apparatus is used right so this was about uh, setting time of summit now compressive strength this is a very uh, important physical property compressive strength of cement is most important yes as i said and uh, for that means to find out about compressive strength so the standard 50 mm motor cube are prepared right and uh, cement strength cannot be used to predict concrete compressive strength right these both are uh, two different things cement strength is a different thing and uh, concrete compressive strength is a different thing right so over here in this picture you can see the number of samples means the number of motor samples are prepared in this uh, scale you can see so the last one is density and specific gravity right density is the mass of unit volume of a solids or particles right excluding air between the particles so it is used in concrete mix proportioning calculations right and uh, for mixed proportioning it may be more useful to express the density as relative density which means specific gravity and the average value is uh, around 3.15 or 3.16 right so let's discuss classifications of cement so generally we have uh, five categories right which is further divided into subcategories so the first one is known as normal cement or ordinary portland cement the second one is uh, or uh, ia right known as normal or air entrant then next is moderate sulfate resistance cement <coughs> sorry then comes moderate sulfate resistance and air entrant and uh, after that the third ca third category is known as high earlier strength then comes high earlier strength plus air entrant and the last two are low heat of hydration and high sulfate attack so let's discuss them one by one so the first one is uh, ordinary portland cement which is commonly used or generally used right and uh, have no special properties so let's move toward the next one next one is uh, known as air entrance cement right which is used to prepare air entrant concrete and uh, is for freeze and thaw resistance right this is a very important point because we should know the implementation of uh, air entrant cement so the conditions are over here if you face a freeze and thaw issue so the favorable cement is air entrant cement right so let's move towards the next one so over here uh, in this these pictures you can see the air bubbles right this is because of uh, because of use we use the air entrant cement in this concrete so the black dots in this picture shows the air bubbles right or air placed in the concrete and on the other hand in this picture you can see where ordinary portland cement is used so there is no air bubbles or uh, air placed in the concrete and uh, on the left picture right this is a microscopic picture of a concrete sample so the black 
area or black dot shows the air bubbles right so this is how it looks like the concrete when we use air entrant cement the next one is uh, type 2 and type 5 which are used for sulfate resistance right so normally type 2 is used for moderate sulfate resistance and uh, type 5 is used for uh, high sulfate resistance so over these pictures you can see the examples where normally the sulfate resistance emits are used these are the some uh, pictures of sulfate attacks how sulfate attacks looks like and uh, how they appear so you can see the white whitening of the surface which is due to the sulfate attack or in this picture spelling due to the sulfate attack so in this picture B you can see the another example of sulfate attack so to tackle these kind of issues we should use or we should recommend sulfate attack cements so the third one is uh, known as high earlier strength cement which is used where uh, earlier strength is needed right for example uh, fast track pavements or fast track roads or uh, rapid or rapid from removal of precast concrete the example you can see over here and uh, where for example we are we must minimize the traffic concessions right so these are the some common examples the next one the next one is known as low heat of alteration right type 4 cement so normally low heat of hydration is 20 percent lesser than that of ordinary portland cement the amount of water required for hydration is low right when you use this uh, this type of cement so the amount of water for hydration is very low and uh, the hydration of cement is in is an extrochnic pr process that produce large quantity of heat as we can as we know so the common example uh, of low heat cement use is dam construction right so the famous type of the cement is known as white portland cement right so normally it is used in uh, architectural concrete right because of its light color and uh, over here in these pictures you can see the examples so let's come storage of cement in different conditions so cement is moisture and sensitive material if kept dry it will retain its quality indefinitely and uh, when exposed to moisture cement will set more slowly and uh, will have less strength compared to cement that kept dry at the time of use cement should be freeze throwing and uh, free lamps so this was uh, all about cement's uh, classifications its physical properties and it's about storage so inshallah in our next in our next video lecture we will discuss some other construction materials so till then take care stay safe and allah office